we're going to be talking about the DF Player Mini, an MP3 player that you can hook up to an Arduino or any other controller that has a serial port. However, we're not actually talking about the DF Player Mini. What we're talking about is drag and drop hardware. What do I mean by drag and drop hardware? A typical Arduino circuit board is going to have a Arduino and a breadboard. And this is our circuit for the DF Player Mini on a breadboard. So we have uh, a power rail, power connectors going to the DF Player Mini. We have speaker cables. The speaker is not currently hooked up. Uh, and serial transmit and receive uh, along with an accompanying resistor and a resistor hooked up to the busy signal. Now, don't get me wrong, this is fine. However, we have found that we use the DF Player Mini in a lot of our circuits, whether it's an alarm clock or a Pomodoro timer or whatever, we are very often using this circuit. We could re-breadboard this circuit every single time. What we decided to do instead was create a all-in-one unit that we can simply drop into our circuit. So here's our power connector, our serial, serial connector, uh, two pin on one end, uh, individual pins on the other in case the transmit and receive are not co-located and the LED indicating whether or not it's busy. So instead of having to wire up this circuit every time, what we do now is we just plug in this circuit to whatever board we happen to be using. There'll be links to all these products um, either here or in the accompanying blog post. Uh, just to give an example of the sound that comes from this device, uh, I'm going to first plug the speaker from our pre-canned box into our Arduino circuit. And I will go ahead and power this up somehow. So I found some power. So compare wiring this board plus whatever accompanying circuitry is required for your design. Or you can take your Arduino with my handy minimal stand, plug it in. no thought at all to our mp3 player board if we plug everything in we get the exact same behavior so small boards like this can be uh, really valuable when prototyping new projects. I already know this has everything on it that I need to make the MP3 player work. I know I need a serial connection. I know I need a power connection. This one happens to have um, a speaker stuck onto the breadboard. It's a small speaker with a 3D printed case we just whipped out with some hot glue for stress relief. But we no longer have to think about this mess of wires, which makes debugging easier and it makes prototyping easier. So when we want to have MP3 playing 
in our circuit, we only really have to think about two connections, especially while prototyping. For the final version, we might want to put the DF Player Mini onto a carrier board with the accompanying circuitry and whatever else we need for our project. But for simply prototyping, this two connection solution is difficult to beat. It's just something to keep in mind. The parts that you use for your projects uh, will likely be different, but coming up with uh, drag and drop hardware like this can be a, a great help in prototyping your circuits. If you've done something similar or you have created custom printed circuit boards for drag and drop hardware, let us know in the comments or on the company blog post. We'd love to see what you've come up with um, and we will be sharing the printed circuit board for this uh, both in our store and as an open source circuit design. There's only three parts on it so I don't feel like we're giving anything away really. But very helpful for us and our projects, whether it's Arduino or ESP or Feather, as long as there's a serial port, we have MP3. Thanks. Uh, give us a like or a subscribe. Check us out on the web at our uh, blog, etc., etc., etc.